Come on, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. Come on. Chloe. I have poodles. Get the rules in hand for tomorrow. Get the rules in hand for tomorrow and Thursday night's opening Democratic debates, which will feature a slate of 20 candidates over two nights and be hosted by MSNBC, NBC News, and Telemundo. Now, the rules make it clear that crisp answers will be of the utmost importance because to make time for each of the 10 people on stage each night, there will be no opening statements, and candidates will have a tight 60 seconds to answer questions and 30 seconds to respond to follow-ups. There's another factor that will be central in this debate. It will really be the first time since Donald Trump came down the escalator four years ago that a political event does not really revolve around him and the true historical deception he is inclined to speak. Instead, we have a debate among a lot of people with genuine and sometimes conflicting policy stances who are more or less in the main tethered to the basic rules of reality and fact. Ace fact checker Daniel Dale looked at the Democratic candidate speeches this weekend in South Carolina, and while he did, to be clear, find some exaggerations and manipulations, most candidates did not say a single thing that was objectively false or misleading. Quote, there's a lot of subjective rhetoric about Trump and such, but the stats they cited, the factual assertions they made, were either entirely correct or supported by enough evidence not to call false. In other words, tomorrow night is basically a whole new world. Joining now, Democratic strategist Cornell Belcher, an MSNBC political analyst, and Philip Brynas, his former advisor, presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, who helped Clinton prepare. Ask her if she had a good hike. Yes, yeah, Does she look happy? She was playing tons of games. Yeah, Chloe is back. How much do you focus on that? If you're a candidate for up on that stage tomorrow night, you have a limited amount of time, and for particularly 15 out of the 20 candidates, I think a lot of people don't even know you're running. How much is that the thing you try to focus on and break through with? Well, I think ideally your game plan is to go up there and to say what you would say on any other day, whether it is right. in South Carolina, in Iowa, in Florida, because you have a message, and the point is you want to keep repeating it so that it resonates. And Look at them. People hear it and absorb it. If you're going up there tomorrow night or Thursday night saying something completely different than you do otherwise, you've got a problem because either what you're saying only isn't working or you just can't be disciplined enough. And look, you know, you made the comment before about time. I'm talking right now longer than what most of the candidates in the debate will speak to tomorrow. But, but it's, it's I know my, my producers in my ear telling me that. <laughs> and, you know, what's so important, you're going to have five moderators. You're going to have at any given time, that's your whole thing.